Welcome in to this week's mirror message. I'm Patty. I'm an intuitive, I'm a psychic healer, and I'm a reader. Here to read you a message for your twin flame journey that is in separation or challenge. Welcome back to my subscribers. I love you guys and I'm so glad you're here. And welcome to the new people finding the channel. I hope you subscribe if you love the reading style. All right, take that moment to hit the like on the video. I genuinely appreciate that. All readers do, it's really important. And for those of you who do, just a big thank you. All right, so if you haven't been to a mirror message before, it's a he said, she said, he said, she said spread. That is a little bit hard to say, <laughs> you say it a bunch of times. Um, between divine feminine and divine masculine. So we look at headspace, heart space, and what's going on for them currently. So I'm going to start with the Everyday Witch Tarot, and we're just going to jump right in to start reading. Okay, so for Divine Masculine's Headspace, we're starting with the Two of Swords. And to go with that, we have the Five of Wands. This is a very different energy from last time, which I'm glad our energy is flipping around. For a long time, it felt like I was just doing the same little reading over and over again. Divine Masculine's Heart Space. Divine Masculine's Heart Space. The Seven of Cups, okay. And what's going on for Divine Masculine right now? Give me a card for that. A card for what's going on with Divine Masculine. Blocks, challenges, what is he working through? The Magician. Okay, let's look at Divine Feminine's headspace. Whoa, I've got three cards flipped. Um, Queen of Cups, Five of Swords, Three of Swords. Okay. Um, Divine Feminine's heart space. What's going on in Divine Feminine's heart space? Okay. We have got the Page of Cups and we have got the Chariot. And what's going on for Divine Feminine right now? What's she working through? Blocks or challenges? I got the Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck um, for this deck is always Divine Masculine's overall energy for me, and that's the world. There's a completion there. That's good. What deck am I going to use to clarify? I didn't plan it out this time. I just wanted to see what felt right. I'm going to use the Muse Tarot. Let's get that. Okay, thank you, Lynn, for the Muse Tarot. I know you'll be watching the video. I love this deck. Love it. Um, clarifying the Two of Swords for Divine Feminine, excuse me, Divine Masculine's headspace. Clarifying the Two of Swords. We've already got the Five of Wands there. Mm. Is it this deck? Is it this deck? This is the one that called to me. Okay. Oh, Eight of Emotions in Reverse. Okay. Uh, which is Eight of Cups in Reverse. Let's look at Divine. Okay. Wow, that's way too many. I'm going to take the top one and then I'm going to reshuffle. So we've got the Knight of Inspirations with the Seven of Cups, which is the Knight of Wands. Oops, let me not grab that one. Um, okay. We have two more that a lot wants to clarify Divine Masculine's heart space. We've got five of emotions and we've got um, awakening in reverse. And then what's going on for Divine Masculine with this magician? Clarify the magician. What's going on in his 3D world these days? Nine of materials which is Nine of Pentacles. One more to clarify that. One more to clarify the Magician in Divine Masculine's 3D World. We've got the Knight of Voices, which is Knight of Swords. Okay, um, I'm gonna go over the stuff that I channeled and read that off in a minute. I forgot to do it. I, I have a bunch of stuff before I started pulling cards. So let me just get the cards out. And I will tell you what I got. Ah, Queen of Inspirations, clarifying the Page of Cups. 
And what do we have clarifying the Ten of Swords for Divine Feminines 3D? What's she going through right now? Blocks, challenges, lessons. Um, we've got the Knight of Emotions. We've got three knights on the board. We've got... Um, I could have sworn there's another one. We've got the Knight of Voices. So we've got cups. We've got swords. I thought we had wands, too. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. And then clarify again the Ten of Swords. Okay. The Four of Materials, which is the Four of Pentacles. All right. Bottom of the deck for Divine Feminine is Mirrored Energy. The Muse of Voices, which is the Page of um, swords here. I'm going to keep it this way because this is kind of a sideways card. It's an interesting card. Okay. So before I read, so what I was channeling before, first of all, I'm starting to channel music a lot more now. It's just happening again. Sometimes I go through spurts where it's just won't leave me alone. And so this is my least favorite genre of music probably on the planet. <laughs> Um, it's like 60s and 70s easy listening. And so I got I Am I Said by Neil Diamond. And it played over and over again for like an hour in my head before I started the reading, before I decided I had to go do the reading. Um, and so that song is about um, feeling alone in a place that doesn't feel like home. And it's, um, what, do, what do I have for the notes? It's having all the material stuff, but feeling empty inside because you just don't feel home. You just feel very alone. And so there's this alone feeling that's happening. I was getting divine masculine and I'm going to, I'm going to stay with that. I could say mirrored energy because it could be both, but I really, I really feel like divine masculine inside for this feeling of like having stuff. But not having the love, not feeling, sorry, I'm hitting my mic, so, not feeling at home. And it's this longing for that feeling of home. And it's, it's like speaking and no one hears you. It's that, I know divine feminines will understand this, you know, because when you go into separation, there is this feeling like I'm talking and I'm talking and I'm, sometimes there's, you even dream that you're screaming and no one hears you. And I mean, your divine masculine doesn't hear you. And it's, there's this feeling of like trying so hard to be heard and having it not happen. It's really a disturbing feeling. Uh, I'm getting that on divine masculine side now. There's this feeling of wanting to express and wanting to speak and maybe speaking out loud now, but it's still not being heard. And it's, it's a very, um, it's kind of a lonely feeling. Then I got the image of a bro broken glass or cup really a broken cup, um, a glass, but a cup. And from that, I got, I got the feeling of like an ace of cups with a crack in it. So divine masculine wanting to, to extend this ace of cups, but until he heals up, there's this crack in his cup. And it's like, I want so much to be with divine feminine, but I've got to, I've got to heal something in me emotionally heal my cup you know your cup is what holds your emotions i've got to i've got to heal my container for my emotions before i can go extending them out to someone else if i wanted to be successful so that's really why i got the feeling there um and then i heard wind chimes mm, like the bamboo ones with the really pretty um hollowy kind of sound that are it's like a gentle sound it's not the big high pitched thing but it's more of a gentle sound and I, I got divine masculine kind of hearing the seductive call kind of in the wind of divine feminine and just feeling that tug that pull to something that feels beautiful in their life again um and then i got calamari <laughs> I don't know where this comes from. <laughs> I know it comes from spirit, but like why something? So maybe some of you guys have been, are like really into calamari. You had it, you're planning to have it, you're craving it, something like that. I also got seafood in general. Um, and then I got, I, I'll go on to the beach stuff in a minute, but I did get calamari in specific. I don't eat tentacles. So more power to you if that's your thing, but it's just, it's what came up. 
Um, and then back to the seafood, um, I got that feeling. I got actually got a physical feeling. One of my favorite sensations, I'm a sensation person. So one of my very favorite sensations is being at the beach all day and being in the water and the sand and the sun. And when you go and you get that shower after the beach, and so you're really sun tired and you've had your salt air fix, but you're clean and it's just like the best feeling. I, I got that physical sensation. Um, so maybe some of you guys are planning a beach vacation, like summer's coming up pretty soon. Maybe you're somewhere where it's already good weather for that. Um, I don't know what it is, but for someone that's gonna be some kind of confirmation um, oh, okay. And then I, I thought I was done channeling and I went to start, pick up my cards and I realized how warm I was. And I was like, oh my God, I'm incredibly uncomfortable. I was wearing a sweater that I love. Um, and the, the weather has been very bipolar here. It's like been up and down and up and down. Um, I, I actually have been changing my thermostat from heat to cold to heat to cold, like twice a day because the weather is so weird here. It was like really warm the other day and then it's supposed to snow today. I don't think it did, but it's, it's very strange here in Oregon. Um, but there's this feeling of, of a change in seasons. There's this feeling of what has been comfortable to divine masculine. This comfort zone is no longer comfortable. And so there's a change in season coming for divine masculine right now where the things and the places and the people that were comfortable before aren't anymore, they're chafing. They're just like, get it off of me. I don't wanna be in this anymore. I don't wanna be around this anymore. Um, it's time for a new, a new um, experience. So I got that. And then I just got the all the aces. I got ace of cups, I got ace of wands and swords. I didn't get ace of pentacles, but I did get three of the aces. Um, I didn't have them come out here, but there's just this feeling of newness of new opportunity, of new chance. There's like new growth, new growth. Yeah. Okay, so let me stick that away and let's look at the reading. So, overall energy for Divine Masculine is the world. And she's, like, she's sitting on a beach, look at that. Um, there's definitely a beach connection here. Someone, and there's, an, there's another beach card here. There's a couple, three of them actually. So, Four of Swords, Justice, Hanged Man, Page of Wands. Yeah, there's this energy of divine masculine in currently or having been in a pullback, like really um, taking time for self, reevaluating self, reevaluating life, reevaluating friends and family and job and the whole Megilla. I'm not kidding. A complete reevaluation here um, because there is an injustice here in this connection, in this twin flame connection, in this divine masculine or this group of divine masculines that we're reading for know it. Um, they may not be speaking about it. And we got, you know, we got the page here of wands. So there's a divine masculine wanting to take action, but not quite ready yet with the page here, wanting to bring forth communication about it. In fact, I think communication could come in advance of action here, something, and it's gonna be something small. And it's also gonna be something easily missed if you're not paying attention. I, th there's a divine masculine here that wants to come and talk about the end of a cycle for them and end of a cycle in their own path, in their own life, where um, cobwebs are just being blown out, blown away. That old comfort zone has been pretty much demolished. And what's looking... Um, What's looking like the new future is looking really good. I mean, it's uncertain, it's a little scary, 
and there's this feeling of like hesitation to walk into it but there is also a desire to walk into it and there is a desire for action here there is a desire to take some action it's coming it's coming divine masculine is really looking at his own intuition and looking at following it now that's the overall energy we're getting there so let's look at what's happening here for divine masculine headspace what's happening in the headspace I think this feels really scary having that comfort zone demolished and and having these inward feelings of not being happy there anymore I mean I feel like spirit has brought a lot of outward stimuli into divine masculine to make him feel not comfortable in that zone anymore um, you know a lot of little towers have happened I just had my red Jasper tower fell when I was setting up um, so there is a tower that's fallen for the divine masculine but I feel like there are a lot of mini towers too like a lot of things just kind of fell off I think people have been falling out of his life I think his or her I think um, there may be a change in job here there may be a change in social circle Um, I'm hearing living situation too so I feel like divine masculine may have recently moved or is getting ready to move and so like setting up new house new place to live I don't know if they have roommates or um, maybe it's a temporary situation too I think divine masculine could be in, in a temporary living situation for a while just till they figure out what they're gonna do there's, there's a lot of upheaval a lot of change I mean, you know, and it's causing some, some fear about all of these decision makings and some inner conflict about like, which way do I really want to go? Because there are so many choices when you start your life over, when you decide that you're going fresh, I mean, there's a lot of directions you can go. And I'm not just talking about towards divine feminine or other people. This is not romantic talk. This is like life, like which um, apartment or house am I going to live in? You know, how do I want to live? Do I want to spend a lot of money and live lavishly? Or do I want to have more resources and live more frugally so I can have more experiences? Or it's just a lot of decisions to be made. Um, like even just setting up the basics of a household, I'm getting. Um, it's like, do I want to go out and meet new friends? Do I want to reconnect with old friends? Do I want to do both? And how am I going to budget my time between all of these things? There's this feeling when you start over that you have so much opportunity that you didn't have before. If you were stuck in a routine before in a comfort zone that wasn't healthy for you, and now all of a sudden you've got this freedom, it's like, what do I do with that freedom? How do I budget it out? You know, what do, what do I do with it? It's I've been having that um, challenge myself, so I know what that feels like. It's like, how do I fit everything I want to fit in <laughs> and still have me time and not overburden and overbalance and, and exhaust myself? So I do see look, I, I see Divine Masculine not wanting to avoid those feelings anymore, though. I think in the past, if this if this divine masculine or group of divine masculines had inner conflict or fear, um, I think that they avoided it. I think they just kind of walked away from it, just left it where it was, swept you know swept it under the rug. But there's this feeling of divine masculine in his headspace facing the conflict, facing the fear, and asking himself, "Why do I have this? Why is it hard for me to figure out?" You know what are what are the triggers here for me I, I really see divine masculine really facing things in a way that he didn't face them before um, in heart space the seven of cups you know there's so uh, many again it's it's opportunities and options and I'm not talking about options and love this person on the seven of cups card their hand is on the heart cup 
So I really get that, that there's not a big choice for Divine Masculine in love as far as romantic love. He knows what he wants. And I get that as the Divine Feminine. So he's got like a hand hovering over Divine Feminine. Like, I know I'm choosing this, but all of these other things in life, I mean, there's plants here, there's stars, there's, you know, books, there's coins, there's home, there's all kinds of different things in these cups here. And it's just his heart space. He's like, what am I going to love? It's like that thing where you go through your house and you pick up all the objects and, you know, does this bring me joy? Does this spark joy in my life? And if it doesn't, you just toss it, get rid of it, donate it or whatever. But I get this feeling of divine masculine. Actually, it's almost a reverse of that. It's like going out into the world and putting his hand on things like, does this home spark joy in me? Does this where I want to live? Does this job spark joy in me? Is this what I want to do? Um, is this book worth my time? Do I want to read it? You know, that kind of thing. It's like all these new decisions I'm getting. Clarified by the Knight of Inspiration. There's a Knight of Wands. I, I thought it was out here. Five of Emotions and Awakening in Reverse. So Judgment in Reverse. Five of Cups. I feel like these, these options feel foreign. Like not having had this kind of experience, maybe in a very long time or ever, where all of these choices are just available to Divine Masculine. And there's not another person guiding the choices. And so there's this freedom in the choices that feel so good. It's like this feeling of freedom, heart freedom. With the five of emotions here though, he's got to thaw that heart out because I feel like it's been iced over. I feel like there's been such disappointment in this past energy, in the past comfort zone, in the past life. Um, where he stayed in that icy kind of stayed in a cold heart place and refused to see that he could have these options that he could have this heart freedom that there is now this like there's this transition happening where he's allowing himself to look at the choices and allowing himself to feel the heart freedom where for a very long time i feel like he had this mindset where he was just stuck, where he was frozen in place. Um, he just wasn't seeing the possibilities in his life before. And now all of a sudden they're just brilliant. You know, it's beautiful. So what's divine masculine going through? The magician, he's understanding his own light and his own magic. Nine of Materials, I feel like this, this is a single Divine Masculine. I feel like he might not have been single before. I feel like in the old comfort zone, there was maybe an old person that kept him in this perpetual state of frozenness and not seeing the possibilities in his own life, not seeing his own magic. But here is Divine Masculine um, waking up fully to his own potential and the, the his own magic, his ability to create and um, manifest and being so happy in this singleness, like maybe for the first time or for the first time in a real long time. Um, the Knight of Voices here, the Knight of Swords, uh, he's feeling the freedom to speak his truth for the first time in a very long time too. There's like this unburdening. Um, it's, I'm seeing like, um, um, I'm, I'm seeing a, a brown paper package with a string and I'm seeing the strings being cut and the package just falling open and everything inside can come out now is not like bound up anymore by anything. So whatever was keeping him bound before from speaking his truth, um, it's been released. It's been cut away. And it's because of this ending of a cycle. It's because of this ending of a cycle. This is a really good place for Divine Masculine to be. Beautiful energy. Okay, so let's look at overall energy for Divine Feminine. Um, we have the Muse of Voices, which is this really cool mirrored energy card. And so, Page of Swords. And then we've got 
two of materials, three of voices, and the lovers. So, you know, again, the way that it usually works with a twin flame connection is one side can't see what the other side is doing. There's a wall up and it's a divine protection wall. And if divine feminine is not seeing what, all the cool stuff happening with divine masculine over here. And so she's off on her own path right now. Um, I definitely see her looking at heartbreak in the past looking at what made her sad, trying to decide what makes her happy, really happy. If there's a watch and wait energy for a little bit, and I feel like it's very short term. I feel like Divine Feminine is in this spot where she's trying to, to choose love for herself. I think that she may be engaging with different people. I'm seeing um, two figures here. So there could be options around divine feminine romantically. Um, but I do see with the page of voices, the muse of voices here, there's a big consideration for divine masculine in this. So divine feminine has people around her that are very attracted to her, very interested in her, very pulled in. She might even have another soulmate energy coming around. I don't think it's coming around fast, but I think it's already in her sphere. And she's trying to decide with this two materials here. You know, she's she's got these two roses, one a rose on either side, and they're representing pentacles. But the thing is, you know, the it's it's a red rose. It's love, and it's like I could have love over here or I could have love over here and she's measuring in the heartbreak from the past. So she's got this heartbreak from, from divine masculine, but this new person um, may not have that experience with her. So there's this feeling of if I let a new person in, it's fresh, right? We're not starting with a base of pain that we have to go back and heal and deal with and move forward from. If we start with a new person, there is this feeling of this opportunity for a fresh, beautiful new love. But we, even though that thought process is there for Divine Feminine, which makes a lot of sense, and it is a good thing for her to be looking at in her path right now, this muse of voices really tells me that there is so much consideration, and this was the overall energy card. So there is so much watch and wait consideration for the Divine Masculine. She's still thinking about the Divine Masculine. I think she still feels him as her counterpart. The Emperor. I mean, I, there's, there's just knowing that Divine Masculine is going to come into his Emperor status. And then we got the Seven of Materials in reverse. But there's an impatience here. There's a bit of impatience for Divine Masculine to do that because is it going to be weeks? That could be okay. Is it going to be months? That's a while to draw it out. Is it going to be years? You know, there's this very, there, there's this very big consideration of wanting love in her life and, and not wanting to walk her path alone. It's just, it's hard to know when the Semper status will come, when Divine Masculine will come to the place where he's ready. You know, we've got that image of the cracked cup at the beginning that I channeled. There's this feeling of Divine Masculine's just not quite ready. His hand here is on the heart for Divine Feminine. He knows what he wants. He also knows to make that successful, there's more work and Divine Feminine, she doesn't know how much more work. I don't know if Divine Masculine knows how much more work. It's, it's a quandary. What do we do? How long do we watch and wait? Okay. I'm going to pick these up and we'll go ahead with 
divine feminine side of things. Hermit energy was under that. Okay. That divine masculine pulled back energy was under that. Like how long, how long do we hold space for divine masculine when there are other people that want that space that could be very good for divine feminine? It's, it's hard. It's hard to know, especially if it's drawn out. Okay, so Divine Feminine's Headspace, the Queen of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Three of Swords. So it's all about what we just talked about. So it's almost a, a repeat in the energy of what we're just talking about for the overall energy. Divine Feminine's Headspace is very consumed with, look, I have all this love for my Divine Masculine. I would be giving and loving and loyal and kind and compassionate to him, but the five of swords here, there's, I mean, we got the five of wands for divine masculine's headspace. He's got confusion that he's been dealing with. At least he's facing it now. That's great. We got divine feminine with other confusion over here. And the three of swords again, we had the three of swords in the overall energy and we have the three of swords here. There's this like, feeling of will this heartbreak ever heal fully heal i feel like divine feminine with with the queen of cups energy she's really done a lot of healing i mean she's she's done her work but there's a piece of the three of swords there's a piece of heartbreak energy when you go into separation um that only is really healed when you come back into union or come back into a place of balance with your twin flame and so there's this lingering bit of heartbreak that is only going to be healed that way and there's this conflict like you know I have all this love but I, I want to take these three swords completely completely out of my heart I don't want them anymore they don't belong in my life anymore all this sword energy doesn't belong in my life anymore I'm the queen of cups I want to get rid of the swords. I want happiness and joy and love. So there's a little bit of a mental turmoil for divine feminine as far as swords energy with the five and the three. And she's interesting because the queen of cups in this deck, she's holding um, a big clamshell and it's full of water and the water is just kind of spilling out over the side a little bit. And there's this contemplation where she's holding it over the water. It's like there's all these fish in the water right below her, all this abundance just waiting. And she's like, how long do I hold this full cup for Divine Masculine? If I tip it and let it pour out, there's all this abundance here waiting for me in other places. But at the same time, the Queen of Cups, she has so much love and so much compassion and I think it's why she's just in this contemplative state. I don't think she wants to spill the cup over. I don't think she wants to, but it's hard to know when the time is to do it, you know? The Page of Cups in Divine Feminine's Heart Space. It's this desire for new love. It's this desire to create something new with someone, whether it's Divine Masculine or someone else. Her heart is so ready. It's like in this beginner's mind, like I want to experience love and I want to see what, you know, my love combined with someone else's love in this world does. There's a real desire for that. And, you know, with the chariot card here, this particular chariot, there's this desire to really move forward with that. But we've got the black this way and the white that way, this balance, this, I, but I don't know which direction I want to put my love in. I want to go. And the queen of inspiration, the queen of wands here, clarifying further, there is this, as I was saying, creativity with the page of cups here. This page of cups is at an easel. They're, they're painting with their cup here wanting to see what they can create. And the Queen of Wands is the most creative person in the deck. There's this desire for the new. 
There's this desire to explore and expand in Divine Feminine's heart space. I mean, it's a really nice energy. It's an anticipatory energy. It's like, okay, I'm ready to go. Which way am I going to go? And there's this pause happening. Like there's this little pause before the direction is chosen. The hanged muse is um, what I got next. And yeah, that's the pause. Putting herself on a little tiny pause. And I don't feel like it's a major one. I don't think it's even Four of Swords energy. It's just a quick, like, I'm taking a minute to decide what's best for me. What's she going through right now? The Ten of Swords, the Knight of Emotions, the Knight of Cups, and the Four of Materials, the Four of Pentacles. This Ten of Swords shows someone that has been stabbed in the back ten times with their head up, reaching out to get up and getting ready to get up. And it shows the sun coming up over the horizon. What's Divine Feminine going through? The, the, and she's ending this painful cycle. There, she's no longer interested in staying in Swords energy like we we're talking about over here, this bit of heartbreak left over this conflict. Um, she wants to get up from this completely. I think she wants to leave this completely behind. There is a fresh new feeling here. The night of emotions. There's this desire to share love. I mean, it's just repeating message, repeating, repeating, I guess here. The four of materials. There's this desire to see the beauty in her own surroundings and not just ignore the world around her because she's in some kind of stasis. There's this desire to let the beauty just shine through and really grab onto it. Wow. That is what I'm seeing for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. I'm going to get a few of my Oracle cards. I'm going to get a couple from each side here. Give me two Oracle cards for Divine Masculine's side. Whoa, fireworks. Uh, we got three ghost and corrosion. <clears throat> Interesting how they fell on each category. Look, divine masculine is feeling incredible passion and chemistry with divine feminine now it's really coming through i really get divine masculine knows what he wants and who he wants it with there's not a question there i don't get the feeling of lots of romantic options or i want to date around or you know i have this other person and i'm trying to choose i don't get that at all what i do get on top of that chemistry is this bit of three of swords here that needs to be cleared over on feminine side with ghost and corrosion, this masculine could have in some way ghosted the feminine. Um, he either cast her away, he discarded her, he went invisible, he was just gone from her life, I think without proper explanation or closure. And that has caused within Divine Masculine's life corrosion, it's an unstable, unsteady foundation. Um, his own foundation is so deteriorated from that decision and then from all the decisions that were subsequent to that. Excuse me. <clears throat> that, um, again, even though he's feeling this, this chemistry, this attraction to Divine Feminine, this, this allure, you know, hearing her like wind chimes across the air, across the distance and wanting to go toward that, he's got to he's got to clear these past actions so he's gonna have to come forward and have the talk if he wants to come forward to divine feminine about what happened why did he make those choices and what did those choices do for and to his life um, and what lesson did he learn from that and how is he different now and what has he learned just like divine feminine I'm sure would have the similar conversation of why did she choose her own actions and what did they do to her life and for her life and how has she changed? Um, the, but there is this incredibly strong need to clear this for divine masculine and it's part of healing that cup. 
part of healing that cup so we can hold the love in it to to offer okay so let's get um, a couple of cards for divine feminine side what do we need to know about divine feminine okay reaching out time for a change and we've got drinking okay hold on All right, this could be really specific for one or two divine feminines out there, and this could go either way. So there could be a divine feminine that has a drinking issue. <clears throat> and I'm really getting specifically alcohol. I'm not getting drugs or other vices. I'm getting maybe has been drinking a little bit too much. Maybe you can't have a day without wine with your dinner. You know, maybe you can't. Um, have a weekend without a few beers or a couple drinks with the girls or whatever. Maybe you just aren't able to let that um, crutch go, that life crutch go. There is a divine feminine here that understands that there's time for a change in that. And she is actually reaching out or communicating, asking for help. Very clear message here. Um, that is one scenario I'm seeing. So there are there are some divine feminines out there that do have that issue and they want to resolve it. They want to remove that life crutch. They want to stand on their own two feet without the alcohol all the time. <clears throat> the, other, the other thing I'm seeing here is that there could be divine masculines out there that have the drinking problem and the divine feminines need to know about it. So if there's a divine masculine that has a drinking issue, too much, can't, can't really function without it, that divine masculine knows that they need to change that in order to come forward. That's part of healing that cup. No mistake that that's an ace of cups in drinking cups. Um, I really feel strongly that for maybe more people out there, this masculine has too much alcohol in their life. They know they need to change it. And they are currently, Divine Feminine needs to know they are currently reaching out for help. This masculine might be in AA. They might be 12-stepping. They might actually be in rehab. They might be checking in. They might be just finishing something. But there is a need for divine, the Divine Feminine to understand what's happening with the Divine Masculine in this healing process and to have some patience because that's not something you heal in a day. I mean, what, it, rehab is usually what, a 28 day process? And that's just the rehab part. And then they want you to be, you know, mindful for a full year of certain things. And it's, it's a long process, it's a lifelong healing. Um, that doesn't mean that this divine masculine won't ready, be ready to talk to you for that long, but it does mean that um, a little patience is needed to heal this particular kind of issue. It's a hard issue. Okay, so it's something to be aware of. And it, for some of you, it's on one side. For some of you, it's on another. And it could be only specific to a certain group watching this video. It won't be specific to everyone. It's just a message that needed to come out for someone. Okay. All right. I believe that is your mirror message. Please hit the like. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I love you guys. Um, watch out. I'm going to do um, a pick a card reading on messages from your person that's going to come out this week. I'm um, going to do channeled messages and I'm going to use all my message decks. We're going to really get into it. Love you guys. Talk to you later.